Next, I'd like to introduce General Treasurer Seth Magaziner, uh, who has always used his position as treasurer to create opportunities for working people, specifically for construction workers. Uh, he's also always made it a point to shine a spotlight on the revenue our state misses out on when companies commit tax fraud and wage theft. Um, he's also one of our Tax Day of Action All-Stars, having attended all three of the, the Tax Day events we've had here at the State House. So, thank you, Treasurer. Thank you very much, everyone, for coming out. Thank you especially to each and every one of you for building up our state. You make our state strong. You make our middle class strong. We are grateful for you and for all the hard work you put in. Uh, all Rhode Islanders deserve to be paid fairly for an honest day's work. And I want to give a special shout out to Local 330. I know we have some folks from IBW here as well. Uh, unions built the middle class in America and made America strong. Uh, that's the case for my family. My grandfather grew up poor. He was a ch uh, child of immigrants up in Worcester, Massachusetts. He got a job as a union steel worker up in Worcester that got him a ticket to the middle class. He was able to build a life for his kids, my mother, that was better than the one he had. She was able to pass it on to me. And that American dream story is a story that used to be very common in this country. But unfortunately, there are people trying to undercut that American dream for people who are just trying to make an honest day work. And wage theft is wrong on a number of different levels. It is wrong to the workers who are underpaid and don't have access to the benefits and the compensation that they justly deserve. It is wrong to the other companies that do the right thing and are penalized for doing the right thing when their competitors are cheating. And it hurts all of us because when workers are misclassified, it means that taxes are not being paid at the state and federal level by the employers the way that they should be. That underfunds Social Security, it underfunds uh, Medicaid, it underfunds um, uh, workers' compensation, and these benefit programs that we all benefit from. So we need tougher penalties for wage theft. We need funding for uh, investigations and to prosecute those uh, who commit this wrongdoing because it hurts workers, it hurts the honest companies that are trying to do the right thing, and it hurts all of us by underfunding these critical government programs. So I want to thank everyone at Local 330 for shining a light on this issue, for advocating. We got halfway there last time uh, with passage through the Senate. I do believe that this is the year when we can get this bill across the finish line. I want to thank all of you for being a part of this, and I especially want to thank the working men and women of Rhode Island who are represented here for making our state stronger. Thank you guys, we value you very much. Thank you.